What's going down in Chinatown? Am I starting or we, are you starting? Who's going first? Let's start with what's your name? Please. Francois, Raphael, Edgar, Norbert, Celestine, Herbert, Absent, Lon, Quarantine, Clement, Emmanuel, Nathaniel, tell us four. The initials of which spell French accent. <laughs> you, you see what I, all right. Okay, where are you from? Wyoming, obviously. <laughs> and how old are you? 30 and very single, ladies. Okay. Well, there's a million dollars up for grabs here, French. Yeah, I, I'm just happy to be here. All right, good luck. Are we ready? All right, all right, here we go. My name is French Accent. I'm doing one-liners and puns. For example, I had a girlfriend named Ruth, but then she broke up with me, so now I am ruthless. I ain't even got started yet. Ah, but it's all right. As it says in the Bible, you reap what you sow. She hooked up with a guy named Doug. He broke up with her. Now she's Douglas. Funny. All right, Mel, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. Oh. Pressure buzzer. And that joke is pointless. If you ever meet a girl named Grace, though, don't go dancing with her. Very soon you'll find out she is... Clumsy. That was weird. Well, this is going over like gangbusters. I didn't like that one either. I'm doing just great here. I live in an RV with two cats, and I'd like to change that. It's, it's the st I, I lied. There's only one cat. I had to give the other back. I stole it. I, I'm a cat burglar. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my name is Franz Accent, and I was gonna do some more time for you, but I've got three X's, and my self-esteem is very low right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's, funny. That's funny. The audience is liking me, you two. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, listen to that, All right? That's right, yeah! I'm freaking hilarious! I like him! <laughs> I remember the first time that I discovered my powers. I was nine years old. My mother told me never to tell it to anyone. And I was trying all my childhood to hide it. I felt like very lonely because of this. Man, it's a sad story. Yeah. But when I grew up, I thought maybe it's a gift. Maybe I should show it to the world what I can do. Now I'm practicing. I'm trying to make my powers bigger. So you're going to move something? Yeah. yeah. But real, real things I'm going to move in the air. Well, it's kind of scary. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to show America. I think they're going to see something that they never saw before. No gimmicks, no tricks, everything is real. Welcome to America's Got Talent. Thank you. What's your name and where are you from? I'm Leo's. Leo's. I'm from Israel. And what are you going to be doing for us today? I'm a mentalist. I do telekinesis. What's it called? Telekinesis. 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 Am I saying this correctly? Well, yes, you're saying it with correct. an Israeli accent. Well, how do you, how, what it's is telekin it? Telekinesis. 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 I'm so, moving objects with my mind. Okay. So, do you think this is worth a million dollar act? You are the judges. Good answer. Go for it. I don't have any more questions. I'm so intrigued. Telekinesis. Look at him. I know. He's very serious. Is he serious? What's he going to move? Is that a, is that 
ice cream cone. <laughs> Is this a joke? Interrupting cat. Interrupting cat. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. She wants to do stand up. You so don't say it like that. I shouldn't say I it like that. I want to try and see if I'm any good at it. She doesn't. So try it on us. Well, no, because I need to practice. Do you have any material? Like Being on America's Got stuff. Talent? Being confused how you don't understand things? How you misunderstood things? How you sometimes don't hear? But then I just sound like I'm just stupid. Honesty is always the best policy. <laughs> so, what do you do? Besides modeling, I'm a comedian. Oh, is that what you do yeah. on the side? Yeah, it's my day job. Got it. I'm Vicky Barbalak. I'm 60, or 60, as a lot of people say. I'm from Oceanside, California, more specifically Rancho Calavera Trailer Park. How long have you been doing this comedy show? 20 thing? years. 20 years? 20 years, yeah. One day wow. I was, uh, you know, in the, the restroom, and uh, there was something in the trash, and I noticed it. It said stand-up comedy classes, and it was like 38. And I'm like, hmm, am I too old to do this? I've been married three times. I have two kids. Since you don't make much in the stand-up world, I started a wedding chapel business, and I became an ordained minister. I even have a bed in the back for a half hour honeymoon for an extra $29.95. America's Got Talent could really change my life. This could take me from my trailer park in Oceanside to a trailer park in Malibu. That cracks me up, it's so sad. I need a better dream. Here we go, here we go. Hi, what's your name? My name is Vicki Barbalak. What are you going to be doing for us today? I'm a ballerina. <laughs> ballerina. No, no. No, I, I, can't, I can't be a ballerina because I want dinner. I'm a comedian. You're a comedian? <laughs> okay. You know, comedy, I think, is one of the hardest things to do because you have to entertain a whole entire room and make us all laugh. Is that what's going on here? Oh, shoot. <laughs> I can't wait to see this. Good luck. All right, thank you. Heidi, you're looking at me like you never saw a trophy wife in Los Angeles before. I'm sorry. <laughs> I gotta say, yesterday, I had a lot of nervous energy, and I decided I'd go out to Donnelly Men's Prison for a conjugal visit, and uh, <laughs> it was like raining, three drops of rain. You know, in San Diego, that's like a blizzard, so it took like three hours to get out to Donnelly for the conjugal visit. 
and I'm not kidding you, I drive all the way out there, and it turns out, at Donnelly, you have to know somebody. Is that horrible? It's, it's ridiculous. I hated that. Some things just don't make sense to me, like that Elon Musk guy. He can put a rocket up in the sky, you know, and it comes back down to Earth, lands on a paper cup, right? But nobody, nobody can design a bra that doesn't feel like recycled shrapnel. What's up? Right? Heidi, get on that. I can. Please. I'm gonna try one of yours. I need a bra. It's necessary, right? I take my bra off, my boobs fall down like a broken mini blind. I'm sort of gagging. I mean it. This is all being taken care of. This is all, I'm in therapy. I'm in therapy. We're good. We're good. You know, it's like a it's status symbol today. Like, I'm in therapy. I'm in therapy. I have really good insurance. There's actually a court order for me, okay? So, I'm not lying. And you have to be really careful with therapists. Like, it's their only job to find things wrong with you, right? This woman, she's like, so, Vicky. Do you ever drink alone? No, no way. Only alcoholics drink alone, right? I read all those pamphlets in your office, man. Yeah. No, I always wait till the kids get home from school, right? Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Good evening. What's your name? My name is Samuel J. Comro. I'm a stand-up comedian. Oh, wow. How long have you been doing that? I've uh, been doing comedy for 10 years now. Do you do, you do it full-time? Yeah, do it full-time. Okay. Are you nervous? No, I, uh, I, I have Tourette's syndrome, so I oh. twitch a lot. I blink real fast. My head flops around. If you see that, it's kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Samuel J. Comro. I'm a stand-up comedian, 30 years old, and from Los Angeles, California. I was born with Tourette's syndrome, so I twitch a lot. My face twitches a lot. It's a neurological disorder, and there's no cure. I was diagnosed when I was six years old. It just happened out of nowhere, and it was rough. I had no idea what was happening with my body. It was physically painful. I got a lot of migraines. It felt like almost a person was like, pulling my face in different directions. At school, I got bullied, nicknames, teased, being the one left out of things. There was really no safe zone. The most upsetting part was just feeling like I was this outsider for something that I couldn't control. When I first saw stand-up comedy on TV, light bulb flashed on and I was like, I could do this. It was so cool that somebody could just talk about their lives and also relate to a group of strangers by doing that, which is something I've been trying to do my entire life. First time I hit the stage, I was so scared. That first laugh changed my life. How are you feeling? You're about to go out in front of the audience and the judges. I'm just anxious and excited, and I thought I'd be nervous, but I just want to get out there and do it. I've, I've worked really hard for this. I just had a beautiful daughter. There's a 50% chance she might end up with Tourette's. Coming on America's Got Talent is an opportunity to show her that I took my Tourette syndrome and I turned it into a positive. Hi, we love you. Going out on stage tonight is going to be an unforgettable moment. I want to be the first comedian to win this thing. I want to prove to my daughter she can do anything. And what does this mean to you? coming to AGT now? This means everything. I've worked my entire life for a moment like this. They don't come very often. I'm really grateful. I just had a baby girl, and this is a beautiful opportunity. Wow, and your family's all supportive of this career? Yes, since I started, they've been 100% behind me, so I'm very thankful. All right. Well, you know what? It's scary enough doing whatever you do to hit that X, and I just want the best for you. I Thank really you. do. Thanks so much. Go ahead. Thank you. So like I said, I have Tourette syndrome. It's why my head flops around. I blink real fast. It's weird. It always looks like I'm trying to tell you a secret. <laughs> <laughs> this twitch gets me in trouble. My roommate came home from work. I was like, dude, <laughs> our neighbor died. <laughs> he said, did you kill him? I was like, nah. <laughs> 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 
Yo, this is a true story. When I was 10 years old, my parents sent me to Tourette's camp. Yeah, that's where the joke should end. <laughs> It's a real place, and I didn't realize it till this moment, but I found out that when other people twitch, it makes me twitch more. <laughs> so on the first day, they put us in a circle with a hundred kids. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> the kid next to me did a shoulder roll, and my Tourette saw that and took that as a challenge. <laughs> and I threw him a head flop. The girl next to him did a full body twitch and everybody saw that and all hell broke loose. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> Kids were rolling on the ground. I was in the corner like, why'd they send us here? <laughs> Our parents were on top of a hill like, oh, they're break dancing. <laughs> I'm Samuel J. Conroe, thank you. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. Click below and subscribe.